just like Yu Cho Chao, who took all those photos and has been was forgotten, I find I'm drawn to the stories that people have forgotten and feel almost um, such a love for those stories and almost a personal mission to try to preserve the stories of everyday people. I have an interesting relationship with Vancouver's Chinatown because I only spent a very, very brief period of my time here with my Chinese grandmother when I was six and uh, she was looking after me one summer and would bring me down uh, weekly to her mahjong games in one of the society buildings and then we would go and buy barbecued duck afterwards and fish and go home and make a meal. So that was my one introduction to Chinatown as, as a child. Chinatown is special to me, but only more recently. I was one of the, I'm half Chinese, so my mother was Chinese, my father was white, and I didn't really want to be Chinese. And this is interesting irony that after all this time, that at this point in my life, I come back to this, uh, to this community and to this neighborhood. It's, it's interesting to, to come back here and have this emotional connection to a place, but yet to know very little of my own story. Over the years, we've created a number of different kinds of productions, and including a big uh, uh, downtown east side community play in 2003. And that was co-created uh, by myself and Renai Morris, so James Fagan Tate and Adrian Wong. And so it was, uh, a piece that was created to embrace and engage and share the stories of all the different cultural communities of the, of the neighborhood and important stories. And out of that production was born uh, the Downtown East Side Heart of the City Festival, which has been happening ever since. 2004. Yeah, since 2004. And then there have been a variety of projects that we've been engaged in over the years that have taken us into different kinds of uh, partnerships. Like with Elwin G, who has been such an important part of the festival and a number of the projects and productions over the years. And like Ada Khan, who is now uh, is on the board of directors of Vancouver Moving Theatre. So there have just been uh, really important relationships that have formed at different points and then they've just extended and continued and built on and they've been part of what we talk of as a mentoring from our community and mm -hmm. who we continue to learn from. And so it's very important that we listen to um, the stories of those who um, whose stories haven't been heard or have been minimized or have been dismissed. And so that's another way to gain understanding and gain empathy. And it's also, it, it builds it builds the strength of those people when they're able to tell their story and respect it and honored and listened to. It gives them value and it tells them that they're important too. What was fascinating about the Yu Chung Chow project was that whenever somebody gave me a photo, they would often tell me a little story about one of the people in the photo. And it got to the point that whenever somebody gave me a photo, I would say to them, you have to go back and you've got to find out something about the person or one of the people in the photo. And it also, for me, ensured that the photos were, were not silent, in that a photo, a photo can lose its voice and it's just an image of somebody looking back at you. And as much as possible, I wanted to make sure that the archive I left the community would would have voices that that from now on that person in the photo uh you know holding his daughter would be remembered for who he was and, and the life he lived so what became interesting about that project was it was a, a, a very much a community collection project a community participatory project where it actually the community helped me create that exhibition and helped me create that book without them none of that would have been possible those photographs helped us piece together this very fascinating history of our Chinatown and how welcoming it was and open. And when you couldn't be served anywhere else, you would be served in Chinatown. We learn from each other through stories. And um, we have historical stories that we all collectively know. 
And we also have uh, our own personal stories that fit into these larger stories. And so um, bringing those stories forward and sharing those stories is really central to who we are as human beings, that we learn from each other. And it's from those that we can, we can learn how to move forward into the future in a better way. They give us hope, they give us strength, they give us a sense of resilience. And so that's inspiring. And so it's like standing on the shoulder of our ancestors.